again, it, the, the safety in some rigs maybe wasn't. They had so many green people and green drillers uh, and tool pushers that they just yeah, didn't they have didn't, the experience. They didn't have the background. That the, the, the Imperial Law's own rigs, like Don's talking about and I worked on, uh, they were good. I mean, uh, they were safe. Drillers were safe. And they looked after you. I never got hurt. I don't think. No. Did you, did you, did you well, know? I don't. I worked for GP for quite a bit too. Yeah. Well, I worked for Peter Bodden for a while too. I never yeah. did. I, yeah. Uh, if you were experienced, uh, the guys, the people that got hurt, were were the inexperienced, mostly. And did you see that often through your career? Yeah. A lot like of later on, when I was supervising rigs, uh, that I saw because I had learned properly. The drillers I worked for were taught me. And my dad taught me. And, and Don's dad taught me things on the rig because I worked with him so. And uh, uh, so when I was out supervising rigs, uh, uh, I knew most of the tricks and I knew uh, I would shut a rig down if they weren't working safe. And, or I, in some cases, I went on the rig floor and showed the guy <clears throat> how to do it right. But I saw a lot of cases too where uh, well, I had to shut rigs down. Yeah. And, uh, and I had to go and show. Because of how unexperienced they were? Yeah, yeah. inexperienced. Uh, just for instance, uh, I was working out at Redwater, and the driller was a friend of mine who I'd roughnecked with in Saskatchewan, uh, Harold Forbes. You remember Harold? Anyway, he was a driller, and, and this one roughneck was telling me, God, he says, my chest is hurting me. So I was watching him, and he wasn't keeping a stiff arm on the tongs. Oh. <laughs> and so when they were breaking out the joint, the tongs would come and hit him in the chest. Break his ribs. <laughs> I said to Harold, I, who was the driller, I said, why don't you go and show that guy how to do it right? You keep a stiff arm on it, so it comes back like yeah. that. Just something natural, but the kid didn't know it. And uh, so Harold says, ah, he'll probably just quit anyway. I said, well, look, if you want me to shut this rig down, then we can do that too. <laughs> well, okay, but I said, I'll go and show the kid. So I went and showed him, and the kid learned. After the trip was yeah. over, he'd come and thank me. But I mean, that happens anywhere. I mean, in any job, whether yeah. you're working on the railroad or whether you're climbing telephone poles or whatever, safety is, uh, Safety is something that you have to instill in the workers as well as the management. And you got to be thinking about it all the time so it's second nature.